Hey Scorpio, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your love reading. We're going to get started right away. Make sure you stick around to the very end. That's when we get advice from tarot about love. And um, in the meantime, if you guys would like to just say hello or send me what you would like prayers over, feel free in the comments section um, to make yourself known. And I encourage always everybody else to chime in, pray for each other, send each other warm energy and light. Um, no negativity can come into this space. I seal that with my intention and with my word. And there we have it. All right, you guys. Love for Scorpio, please. We have the Six of Cups, something nostalgic. Six of Cups talks about nostalgia. It can talk about people coming back into your life from your past. Possibly a, a lover from, from your past. Let's get a little bit. We got the sun. Ooh. just feels like unfinished business, but it doesn't look bad. It looks very positive with the sun coming out, shining a fresh light on it all. Let's get one more card and then let's get some clarity. Well, two more cards wanted to fly out. So let's get more clarity on that. The lovers. So I would just be, be aware of whatever this is coming back to you from your past, somebody that you've known, um, that there very well may be a choice you have to make, but perhaps I wouldn't be surprised if we get seven of cups, all that glitters is not gold. I think you'll want more information to make sure that the past isn't repeated because let's get some more information here. Six of cups, clarity on six of cups, 10 of cups. Beautiful. So there's this nostalgia and there's honesty here, right? Um, but the Ten of Cups is a really beautiful ending. It's like going towards what we all want. It doesn't necessarily mean things are ending now. It talks about the, the journey, the big picture. Clarity on the sun, the emperor. Somebody's taking charge. They're deciding, you know what? I don't care about the details. I just want to be happy. Details on the Page of Wands. Uh-huh. Let me take a look at this for a sec. You're going to be gaining insight about a situation that might have felt sudden or that you didn't have as much control as you would have liked. It might have taken you by surprise. Um, I think that it almost has its hooks in you still. There's a residue there. And I think that you're gonna gain new insight and understanding on that. Yeah, I think you might even see the situation a little differently. It doesn't mean that it changes necessarily the past, it just changes the slant. It gives you more information. Um, any more clarity on that? King of Rods, Knight of Rods, Knight of Swords. There's multiple people flying out here. Multiple people are, were involved. What is this? Yeah, whatever it was, was big. It was like a big life changing situation. Multiple people were involved. There is new insight, but this reading is so positive. What's this lover's card with the Ace of Pentacles? You're gonna be making a choice and you're gonna be weighing your options as far as risk. And you're gonna choose a new adventure with a fool. A new adventure, tell us more about this new adventure. Beautiful, you guys, this is really fascinating. We have total victory and stability. There might even be celebrations if you're invited anywhere in particular, if you're like a, a reunion or a wedding. There is like this successful choice you make. And in a lot of ways, there's familiarity attached to it. It required this nostalgic thing. Maybe it was a person coming out of it from the past. You get new insight on something that really shook you to your core at one point. 
um, involving others. But then you, because of this, you start out on this brand new journey and um, you fully make this choice. It's almost like some of you, it's, it's going to be two different scenarios for you guys. And I know that's kind of facetious sounding, but it's going to be, um, and they're, but they're not totally opposite from one another. But some of you guys, this is going to be somebody coming back from your past, an old relationship. And um, you're going to be getting insight on like, that's why things didn't work. And because you finally have that fresh insight, you can really move forward in a new way that you never could have before. You can fully bury the hatchet. And all of a sudden, life just moves forward um, quickly into a very happy place. For others of you, well, you know what? No, I just feel like that's the reading. The other person that, for some of you guys, for, for others of you guys, um, that person may stick around and they may work on changing themselves, but that's not the focus of the reading at all on what they do or whatever this nostalgic thing is. It might not be directly a person um, the whole way. It could be that like, it's like a flare up memory or a trigger. Um, the Six of Cups is um, a really positive nostalgic event but you're just getting very fresh perspective on something that was um, never finished. And you can move forward in this beautiful way. So what's advice from, uh, from Tarot for my Scorpios? Advice from Tarot. We have Wheel of Fortune. Something's coming back into your life in order to end. Three of Cups, you got your friends. Okay, so what this is saying is it's okay to be um, kind of a dig about it. You know, not really, like don't be a jerk. But like um, something does seem to be coming back. That makes sense because I've been saying nostalgia the whole way. But then we got this Ten of Swords. It's going to be like, this is advice from Tarot, right? And of course, only take it if it resonates. Only do that. Follow your own North Star, you guys. But know this, that if something needs to fully end, it might feel a little brutal, but you're not on the side, uh, the hurting side of this. You have your friends. You have support around you. That you. So just know that moving forward. Um, because what it feels like is, this opportunity has moved right back into your path in order for you to be empowered, in order for you to be happy with the sun card because you took the role of the emperor. You called the shots and you ended it. It was on your terms. And previously it wasn't. It was confusing, felt unfinished. Even if at times you convinced yourself otherwise, there was something that karmically, energetically was holding you back now you can finish it so that you can move forward because you made that choice. The power is being handed right back to you. And don't you fret about the ending. You've, you're surrounded by your worry about yourself and know that you're surrounded by people who love you. And you've got fucking standards. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Like and subscribe.